Hi everyone, this is Chris at Chris Marino Design, and in this video we will learn how to create an infinite scrolling effect with any graphic in Adobe After Effects. This is a fun technique that will complement the last After Effects video about infinite rotation. If you missed that video, the link is in the description below. Alright, let's get to it. With the project file from the last video open, I'm going to lock the rotating graphic layer and drag a new PNG file I imported to the top of the timeline. Next, with the PNG layer still selected, I'm going to use the Command-D shortcut on a Mac to duplicate the layer. Now I need to position the duplicate layer to the right of the entire composition on the x-axis. Since the width of the composition is 1920, I need to add 1920 to the original 960 position of the layer, which will be 2880. Now the duplicated graphic is positioned to the right of the composition by the same width as the composition. Next, I need to add a Null Object by going to Layer, New, Null Object. Now I want this Null Object to be the parent anchor to the two graphic layers, so I need to select both graphic layers and choose Null 1 from the Parent and Link dropdown. Now the Null Object will be the lead anchor and any position adjustments made to the Null Object layer will affect the two graphic layers. Next, I want to add a scrolling motion to the null object by pulling everything to the left of the composition on the x-axis. I'll add a keyframe at the start and another one at the 5 second mark. With the second keyframe still selected, I will now subtract 1920 from the original position of 960, which will be negative 960. During playback, you can see the duplicated graphic layers following the null object to the left of the composition by the same width as the composition. Now I need to create a pre-composition. I'll select the top three layers, right click, and select Pre-Compose. I'll change the comp name to Scrolling Graphic and select OK. In the pre-comp, I'm going to select the second position keyframe in the Null Object layer, and with the playhead at the second keyframe, I'm going to hit the letter N on my keyboard as a shortcut to pull in the Work Area bar, then right click on the Work Area bar and choose Trim Comp to Work Area. Now my scrolling graphic pre-comp is the same length as the position keyframes. Next I will go back to Comp 1, my original comp, select the scrolling graphic layer, right click, then select Time, Enable Time Remapping. I will move to the second keyframe, hold the Option key, and click on the stopwatch icon to bring up the expression window. I will type and select Loop Out in the expression window, then deselect by clicking in a blank area of the timeline. With the playhead still at the second keyframe, I will zoom in, hold the Command Apple key on a Mac, and hit the left arrow on my keyboard to move the space of one keyframe to the left. I will add a new keyframe here, then click to the previous keyframe to the right and hit Delete. Now this layer is ready to infinitely scroll to the left. I can change the duration of my composition to 30 seconds instead of 10, drag out my layers to 30 seconds, and now my scrolling graphic layer will continue to scroll the length of my composition even though the pre-comp is only 5 seconds long. I used this scrolling graphic technique along with the infinite rotation technique from my last video to create this full composition. It's actually a music video which I will share and post next. And that's it! Thank you for watching, please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, and I'll see you next time.